Hi, it's Bridget at Above Life Channel. This is a follow-up video to the channeling conversation I had with Paul Walker. I wanted to do a follow-up because I felt like I felt like I I wasn't sure about I don't know much about him. Like I was really upfront about that. And I wasn't sure about the details, like the things that came through that I shared. I wasn't sure about I wanted to know if I, it was accurate. I really did. And as I've shared before in other videos, psychics aren't always accurate. Mediums aren't always accurate. People are not always right. Even though they might think they're always right, they are not always right. And it's hard. I really, I really want to be accurate. That's a big thing for me. So I went and did a little bit of fact checking, just a tiny, because I wanted to, I just wanted to know, first of all, simple things like how old was he? Because I got the vibe that he was like right around 30. Turns out he is like 40 years old. Man does not look like he's 40. In fact, I said it out loud in uh, the kitchen talking about the channel and how I channeled him. And, but I got some stuff wrong, you know? And I hate that. Eee, I hate that. And I said, yeah, I thought he was like 30. And I'm like, dude, it's like 40. And my daughter said, he's not 40. My daughter's like 17. She's like, oh no way like he's so good looking you know she's, he's like he looks really good to be an old guy i'm like 40's not old honey <laughs> I'm like not old <laughs> when he died he was 40. um oh crazy anyway so eh, he looks young i don't know about the age thing and eh, whatever okay um but i was not accurate either about his family like it felt like there was a five-year-old boy or a young boy there at the scene of the crash when he died and I'm like five-year-old boy I still don't know what that means why there was a young boy and I felt like well, was it his son I wasn't sure it could be a stepson something I wasn't sure he has a daughter and I didn't know that so that didn't come through um, but he didn't really want to talk about his family so I don't know about that but I'm thinking, so here's what I think now. All right, you guys. So it came to me this morning. I thought, when I found out that, um, so I Googled and then just a little blurb came up. That's what, when I was fact checking. And I found out that the accident that he had, he crashed into a tree and like the car started on fire and he wasn't driving. And I said in my interview, with him that he was driving because it felt like he was driving and I felt like there was another guy with him but he was driving and then I felt like somebody got ejected or something it was weird I didn't understand that it was kind of confusing I felt like he was alive for a little bit but everything was numb it was really co kind of complicated and so when I I found out he you know it was a situation where he was actually stuck in the car he couldn't get out of a seatbelt or that he was in the car, what have, have you, kind of a thing. He did not talk about that. He did not talk about that. He didn't share that. And oftentimes spirit won't do that because they don't really dwell a lot on the details of their death. Even if it's a mystery, it's like, they're kind of like, what? It's like one moment in my life, do not define my life by my death, please. It's kind of ridiculous. Humans have a fascination with it. Um, but I, under, I understand as a person, I mean, it's really intriguing. You wonder, well, how, does, how is this? How, how can this happen? What is this mysterious death moment? thing that happens to us eventually all of us experience it right so so I felt like I got some things really wrong but this morning something came up to me and I was like oh my god it could totally be I don't watch Fast and Furious I, I haven't watched any of the shows I know that they're like car shows and stuff that's what I know um, but apparently he may have been sharing with me the last movie he may have been showing me scenes from the movie I don't know if he has a son in the movie I don't know um, he may have been showing me that he died in the movie, like a car crash in the movie. You know, somebody was ejected from the car and they're talking about it. I don't know for sure because I don't watch, I didn't watch the movie. Have you seen the movie, the Fast and the Furious movie, the last one with Paul Walker? Can you please comment below and fill me in? Tell me, I'm almost feeling like I should go watch the movie because I feel like what he was sharing with me was his last work. And I feel like... I should probably talk to Paul again. I can kind of feel his energy and he's like, you're right. He's like, you're right. He's like, you don't give yourself enough credit. He's like leaning forward, kind of like putting his hand kind of down. He's like leaning forward. He's like, you don't give yourself enough credit. I'm like, he's charming. He's so good looking, you guys. It's like, and we're the same age actually. So just saying, if you were still in a person body, whatever, 
same age, but he looks so young. Oh, it looks so, it looks like a total California boy. <laughs> really good looking. Oh my God, oh my God. Okay, okay, focus, focus, focus. So please put in the comments below, tell me a little bit about the Fast and the Furious movie, the last movie. Like, did Paul's character die in the movie? Did it? And if so, how did he die? And did he have any kids in the movie? I don't know, I have no idea. And did he have a kid or whatever, a son, a boy, whatever. And or also then can you tell me who was the five-year-old boyish, like about five, I just feel like a young boy, young boy that I saw at the scene of the crash, at the real life crash scene for Paul Walker. And can you also tell me, there's one other thing I was gonna ask you guys to tell me about, what was it? So the five-year-old boy at his crash scene, real life, Fast and the Furious movie scene, like did he die in the movie? I'm assuming he did. I mean, did he die in a car accident? Um, was he ejected from the car? Did they talk about that? I'm curious about this because I don't understand all this, the details of this. Um, I'd like to know because my brain wants to know. I want to kind of put these pieces together kind of a thing. So that would be great. And uh, I, he very charming. I'm in really good looking guy. So it's kind of distracting because he's cute. He's so handsome. Anyway, <laughs> this is Bridget. This is a follow up video on Above Life channel from the interview that I did with Paul Walker. It was the first interview I ever had with him. And uh, I don't know him real well, uh, but uh, he was very easy on the eyes, even in the afterlife, and pretty easy to talk to, I think. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that video. If you haven't watched it and you're watching this one first, go back and watch the Paul Walker conversation, afterlife conversation. This is Bridget at Above Life Channel. Remember, the purpose is to inspire your spirit, to fill you up with hope. It's your life, so live it. Just live it. Thanks for being here.